Hello everyone, you're just in time for NCCP's Children's Club. Let's say the opening prayer. We come with thanks and praise to bless your holy name. We gather with an open heart to learn all of your ways. We anticipate the joy in store for us today. We ask that we won't leave your presence the same way we came. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I need your help. You know the elderly lady I helped the other day? Well, she gave me a pound. And she said thank you, which I really, really appreciated. But now my friend's coming over and I really, really want this big cake. And it's one pound. And I just want it all for myself. But as I said before, my friend's coming over and I don't want to eat the cake in front of her. I don't know what to do. So I need your help. Well, while I think about what I should do, let's see what's going to happen in today's service. Coming up today, praise and worship, story time, and memory verse. Let's have some fun. Time for praise and worship. Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high lord i lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show Lord, I lift your name on high You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My dad to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on
story time. It hadn't rained in Israel in months. The fields were brown and dead. Bare trees stood like skeletons against the hot sky. The rivers and streams had dried up. And finally, even the brook Kareth where Elijah had been hiding from King Ahab ran dry. But God was still caring for Elijah. Go to Zarephath, God said. I have told a widow there to take care of you. So Elijah left Israel and traveled more than a hundred miles away to another country. There at the gate to Zarephath, a widow was gathering sticks. Would you please bring me a little water and a jar? Elijah asked her. And would you please bring me some bread too? The woman had turned to go get the water, but she stopped when Elijah asked for bread. I don't have any bread, she said. All I have are a handful of flour and a little oil. I'm gathering firewood so I can bake some bread for my son and myself. And after we eat that, we will die. Don't be afraid, said Elijah. Go home and make me a small piece of bread. Then make something for yourself and your son. For God says the oil and the flour will not be used up until he sends rain on the land. This woman was not an Israelite, but she believed in God and placed her faith in him. She decided to trust God to take care of her needs. It happened just as Elijah said it would. He went home with her and she made some bread for him. After that day, whenever she went to bake bread, there was just enough flour and oil. The flour and oil never ran out. The miracle God worked to save Elijah also saved the lives of this woman and her son. Sometime later, this woman's son became sick and died. Her first thought was that God was punishing her. What do you have against me? She cried out in her sorrow. Did you come to remind me of my sin and kill my son? Of course, God had not caused the boy to die. God's grace brings the gift of life. God's grace had kept all three of them from dying during the famine. Elijah had been staying in an upstairs room at the widow's house. He took the boy to that room and cried to God, O oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. God quickly answered Elijah's prayer. At once, the boy came back to life. God cares about the problems in your life, too. Even though bad things sometimes happen, God still loves you. He wants you to trust Him. He will take care of your needs, just as He cared for Elijah and the widow of Zarephath. Hi, my name's Ashley. What's your name? Nice to meet you. This month's memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, and it says, Be kind and loving to each other. Forgive each other just as God forgave you through Christ. But we're not going to learn it the normal way. We're going to add some rhymes and add some moves. So jump up on your feet and let's groove. Part 2. Now we're going to learn the words for the chorus. This part is really fun and it's very easy. All you have to say is, Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Ephesians 4.32, that's it. You got that? I know, the end's a bit mm, but you can get it. Now, you're going to repeat after me. Are you ready? Right, let's go. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. 
Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4.32, that's it. Well done. Now, let's say it together. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4.32, that's it. Well done. Clap for yourselves. And give me a high five. Perfect. Now, we're going to put the words with the moves. Put it all together and groove. Are you ready? That's what I like to hear. Now, the moves are very easy. First, we're going to do the Superman, but to this side. Nice. And then bring your hands down while you nod your head. Ah, 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 ah. Perfect. Now, Superman to the other side. Perfect. And we bring our hands down as we nod our head. Now, the other side, just one more time. Ah, and bring your hands down while you nod your head. Now, this move is really important because you have to move like a robot. Are you ready? Boom, 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 boom. Did you get that? I think you did. Well, let's do it one more time. After from the Superman, nodding our heads, it's the last Superman, robot, boom, 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 boom. And you can go anywhere you like. Perfect. Now that we have the moves, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the words. So stand still and watch me. I'm gonna go now, five, six, seven, and. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Uh, hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4, 32, that's it. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4, 32, that's it. Great stuff, isn't it? Okay, let's try together, but extra slow. Are you ready? Let's go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4, 32, that's it. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Ephesians 4, 32, that's it. Perfect. Clap for yourselves. And give me a high five. But get practicing and I'll see you soon. Welcome back. That's great. You've been practicing part two, but I hope you haven't forgotten part one from last week. Great. So we're going to do the normal thing of feeling the groove. And then when you hear five, six, seven, eight, we're going to start the be kind, love one another routine all the way to the end. And then we're going to go straight into, Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Great, so are you ready? Let's go! Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Be kind, love one another. God forgave you so you forgive others. Be kind, love one another. God forgave you so you forgive others. Be kind, love one another. God forgave you, so you forgive others. Be kind, love one another. God forgave you, so you forgive others. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. Hey, we are the cool, kind kids. 
Hey, we are the cool kind kids. The beach and full fat to basket. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. Hey, we are the cool kind kids. The beach and full fat to basket. Well done. You were great, amazing, and fantastic. Clap for yourselves. Give me a high five. Keep on practicing and I will see you next week. So I decided I was gonna buy four muffins, two for her and two for me. Just like the lady in today's story that helped Elijah, she used her last bit of ingredients and see how the Lord provided for her. So I challenge you this week to share and see how the Lord provides for you this week. I can't wait to hear all about it. See you next week. Bye. Let us say the closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for a wonderful time in your presence. We pray that everything we have learnt today will help us, shape us and make us become all that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, Amen. Goodbye. See you next week.